Okay guys and gals, Froggy here and this is going to be a video about replacing the recirculation inside air, outside air, the recirculation actuator which is down there underneath the dash so we're gonna have to remove the dash. I've got some directions uh, that a guy put online that I'm gonna more or less follow but it was a different slightly different vehicle I think it was a Silverado and uh, a different year anyway but uh, there should be I think with the his uh, outline and with my meager skills that I could probably get this thing apart. I don't know if it'll all come apart today and I do have to order the part. I don't have the part yet uh, but I thought I'd get a start on it anyway. So here we go. The first thing is uh, you want to uh, start up the car and you need to drop the steering wheel all the way down. This is an O2 Suburban. The steering wheel goes up and down. So you drop the wheel down and you want to drop this down into low gear and uh, that'll give you room to get this thing off and then it just this just comes off I think it just pops off I've got a little tool here that helps you undo clips uh, so that's going to be my first uh, step I'll be back okay that was uh, pretty easy, easy actually I started over in that corner right there uh, you can see the clip so there's a good place to start and I, I, there was a little gap there where I could get my tool in and then once I got it started I just used my fingertips and I went around this way over to there and then underneath there on the left side of the steering wheel there's a clip right side there's a clip and then this is a little bulky so you have to kind of angle it to get it out and there you go out it comes the next step is to remove these little trim pieces oh, it goes that way uh, this is a, a fuse uh, panel underneath there you've got a bunch of fuses on an O2 Suburban and it just pulls off from the bottom uh, with your fingertips you can see it's got two clips on the top and then one clip down on the bottom and you want to do the same thing over on the passenger side okay this is the passenger side same thing two clips on the top one on the bottom and uh, there's also sort of a fuse panel area here there aren't not very many fuses but like a, a junction area okay remove the uh, the dash level vents there's two of them on the passenger side and uh, I use the couple of these tools again be careful uh, it, I made a little tiny mark there uh, some of the finish of this dash piece came off so just be careful with that um, these have plastic clips there's two there two clips there two clips there so you just have to kind of pry a little bit I, I pried from the bottom and then you get to a point where it stays out instead of popping back in then you know you've got the clip that's starting to come out and then just pry around the rest of the way and uh, they just come right out like that okay we get it go to the other side okay there's the other side once you know where the clips are um, you can be a little braver about prying them out so I'm gonna take all my parts and throw them in the back got plenty of room in the back there I'm not sure if there's a left and right, but I'll mark them left and right and put them back in the same holes. You want to remove the A pillar. The A pillar is the pillar that goes on either side of your windshield. 
and there's a picture of the big clip there so I just reached with my fingers on this side on that side and pulled it and I think the bottom you just kind of wiggle it around yeah yeah it's not staged yeah you just kind of gently wiggle it around and it comes out so that's passenger side. Now go get the driver's side. Uh, the driver's side came out a little harder, not too bad. Same thing, uh, that big clip right there, that's at the top. Uh, get your fingers on it. I got my fingers around one side and then my other fingers over there and I kind of wiggled it. Just If you wiggle it, pull, wiggle, pull, wiggle, pull at the same time, it seems to work pretty good. Coming out at the bottom was a little tighter on this side. You can actually push down if you can just to get, you know, a couple of millimeters of room to get it to slide out. It hangs up a little bit right there, but just push down there as you're pulling the trim piece and it should come out and wiggle it. Let's see if I can get a shot of this. To get this pull handle off, there's a couple of white plastic buttons, release buttons. There's one of them right there, and same thing on the other side. You have to push them in. You have to push pretty hard and pull the handle at the same time. And go a little bit on each side at a time. Don't try to get one side all at once. Let's see if I can show you that. Right there, in that little white. Whoa. Uh, I can't, can't really put my finger on it, but uh, it's, a, it's a white plastic button on both sides, and it releases this handle. And just, like I said, go a little bit on each side. Uh, once you get it about an inch, inch and a half out, it'll just come free. Okay? Next, we're going to remove some Phillips head screws. One, two, three, four. Two more on the other side. So six Phillips heads and then some seven millimeter screws. One, two, three, four, five, five on the other side. You'll find them. Uh, don't get mad at me if I counted wrong, but I think it's six Phillips heads and five seven millimeter. Well, okay. At this point, both of my sets of directions kind of veer into two different directions. Um, I know for one thing, I've got a sensor there. See that sensor? It's probably a daylight, night sensor so that my automatic headlights come on. They come on automatically in a certain setting. So um, I know there'll be a, a wire to that or I'll need to unscrew it or something. Um, but there's probably some slack there. Uh, other than that, the, the other set of directions goes on to say something about the airbag. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to need to do anything or if the dash just lifts off around the airbag. Um, so I'm going to experiment a little bit here. Uh, bear with me and I'll be back. Well, before I go into uncharted territory, I am going to pull the airbag fuse. And it's this one here, 15 amp on my car could be different on your car unless you have exactly the same car but that's my airbag fuse I don't even know if there's more than one but that's the only one I could find so far so I'm pulling it I'm gonna shoot a picture of this well it's not all the way off yet it's halfway off all I've been doing is lifting and pulling forward lift and pull forward there are some pins like right there where my finger is on it. That pin 
goes through a support for the dash cover so you've got to pull that out before it can go up and there were some really tight ones let me see I'd like to get get the light on this hold on okay I think I got some light now there was something really tight underneath right on top of the area of the passenger side airbag it was tight here and then it just popped loose and I'll show you once I get it all the way out um, I still got to get that light sensor over there um, but it kind of all of a sudden just pops loose just you gotta kind of work it work the left work the right work the middle just kind of work it okay right in there is a vent for your defroster it was hung up it was hung up on there so I did just kind of wiggle it, wiggle it and work it and everything and now it's out I think it's all the way out except for my sensor okay so basically I've got it in my lap right now that's the front edge is pointed down into my lap and you can see where these those parts there focus there that slides into a part like that over there okay so there's there's several of those maybe four of those I'm not exactly sure um, the sensor comes out with just the sensors right there and just a quarter turn like a quarter turn lock a quarter turn unlock and that's that's how that attaches um, and I guess that's easier than trying to unplug the wires uh, so that's it um, I am gonna put this up as a separate video on how to remove the dash cover on an O2 Suburban and then I'll I'll make another video on replacing the um, the uh, recirculation or the fresh air inside air actuator I'll just make that a separate video so I'll get this up for you guys and gals uh, probably this evening and uh, it, I think it, it deserves to be a separate video because there's a lot of other stuff underneath the dash cover that people can want to do or need to do and need to take the dash cover off so I'll just make that separate okay give me a thumbs up or a like if uh, this helps you out and subscribe to my channel if you want more uh, this is uh, froggy and I have got the dash cover out of my O2 Suburban see you guys and gals bye bye